Okay, hello everybody, welcome to Democracy 3. I've not played the first two, but uh, I've seen a few videos of this, it looked pretty good. And so I thought I'd buy it. I think it was like £18 on Steam, but it's payday tomorrow, so I thought, yeah, just, just try it out. I like these kind of things. Uh, it's basically like a political simulator of some sort. I don't know anything about politics, but you all think everyone thinks they can run the country better, don't they? So I'm gonna take part and uh, take control of the United Kingdom, and uh, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the party party. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I was Doctor Doctor and no, Doctor Doctor Fudge in the last game. Uh, the op opposition, mm, the Conservatives. Everyone hates the Conservatives, don't they? Um, just leave all this normal and play. So my idea for this is basically. Uh, to make all drugs legal and then tax them because I, I always think that would just solve everyone's economic problems and now oh, here we go congratulations on your election on your election victory welcome to your new job as prime minister blah 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 to be honest I don't read all this I just kind of click things begin your term of office all right so this is the screen You've got all these things, transport, law and order, public services, and the white circles I think are policies. So you've got like clean energy subsidy, subsidies and then you can change the slider. Uh, this is how much funding it gets, this particular policy. So. This clean energy subsidy costs you 210 billion per quarter, uh, and then if you lowered it, you'd be spending less money, but you'd, you'd annoy the environmentalists. This bar would go down. Capitalists would be less annoyed by it. The environment would go down. Energy efficiency would go down, and if you raise it, you pay more money, and these things would go up. And basically, it's you've got to keep people happy and also do things like keep the environment good and um, yeah I don't know I'm not gonna mess around with that basically the, the one thing I wanted to do first my first day in office was uh, change the narcotic law so uh, I haven't actually got the political power to raise it I'm gonna do it on my next turn this is political power so 26 and to raise it I'd need 27 so I'd be able to do an next turn and basically at the minute all drugs are outlawed you could legalize cannabis legalize LSD or legalize all drugs which is the first thing I'm gonna do I'll have to do it next term so um, what should we do anything here What's this? Race Discrimination Act. Let's keep that maximum. I don't like racism. I had to play the, a game as the National Front and played it completely opposite to my own political views and you know like strict really strict border controls and and uh, zero racial discrimination act and basically made it a really horrible place to live and it did really really well actually got really high in the ratings and everyone loved me uh, in the end I was assassinated by liberals so uh, next I don't know what is this a quarter or a term or something when you click next I'm not a quick Pretty sure I've only played one one game of this so far. 
Uh, oh yeah, quarter. It must be a quarter every time you click next, so... There's urgent policy that requires your immediate attention. Uh, debt collection agencies are in the news because of aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. Yeah, these people, I'm going to limit their activity because that's like, uh, they're kind of like legalized loan sharks. I don't even know why they're allowed in the first place, these people. So, uh, what have we got? 66% of the vote so far. Let's see if I've got enough political. There we go, 51 political push. Uh, I'm going to immediately legalize all drugs. This is going to really please the liberals. You can see the changes. See, parents get more annoyed the higher it goes up. Crime goes up a great deal. Conservatives get really pissed off. Drug consumption goes up, obviously, and organized crime goes down. See, this is the reason why I think drugs should be legalized, is because the amount of profit that uh, organized crime and what they say, if you buy drugs, you're funding terrorism. Well, if you legalized them, you wouldn't be, because you'd be making money yourself. So, uh, yeah, apply changes. Screw you, conservatives. Alright, so uh, capitalists are not happy with us. Because of all these reasons. The red lines are things that are negatively impacting it. And green lines will be positively impacting it. The blue dots are, I think, what are they called? Not policies, <laughs> the other one. <laughs> things that you can't change so the price of oil you have to change policies to change the blue things the red the red are uh, negative organized crime what's this alcohol abuse uh, okay oh you can implement new policies up here and i did actually want to Rec recreational drugs tax, this is what I wanted to bring in. So, uh, so societies that have legalized drugs such as cannabis, such as cannabis and marijuana. Yeah, well, they're both the same thing. There's a temptation to treat consumption of drugs as a source of government revenue. Yeah, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I am going to tax them. I wish there was an actual amount, like percentage, but... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tax drug use quite highly. Because we're in, in a, in a uh, recession. Um, what else? The alcohol law. I'm actually gonna. This is where you can change the minimum age, and you can strong restrictions, or you can take this down. As I think, gonna put no limits on alcohol consumption, so you can start drinking at any age, and uh, see how that amuses people. All right, so uh, there we are. We're getting the liberal vote. Youth vote is quite. They're, they're getting quite. I mean, the, the youth are usually not very active politically, so that's pretty good. Um, hmm, what else? This one: creationism versus evolution. Yeah, I don't want. I'm gonna have to change this. I want evolution to only be taught. I don't want creationism. Just for the scientific progress of our... Okay, good. Just for the scientific progress, look, we've got... Uh, what we got? What's this? Technology backwater. 
Yeah, we need better technology and seeing though everyone's going to be drunk and high and stoned all the time, we're going to have to start getting some better technology, so let's go. Ding, 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 ding. There's an immediate euthanasia policy question. A once famous citizen, age 66, is suffering from terminal disease and living in constant severe pain. Although modern medical techniques can keep him alive for many more years, he's expressed a repeated desire to be allowed to take his own life. We can legalize euthanasia or leave the law unchanged. I'm going to legalize it. Definitely. Um, I think my idea for this round, this part, the party party, is to kind of limit the government control on people as much as possible. Um, if people want to do something and they're not harming anyone else, they're just doing doing it to their own body or their own person. Let them. Um, can I change this yet? And I only to teach evolution. No, actually, that is going against what I just said, isn't it? All right, we're going to encourage an emphasis on evolution, right? But if a school really, really wants to teach whatever the hell it is, creationism, we can let them. Like I said, limit government control on people. Don't let don't let the government tell people what to do with their lives too much. This is my idea. Um, okay, let's see if can we put. Anywhere? We haven't got any political capital to implement any new policies. So uh, let's just go on to the next round. See, we're making a good income here. Our income's higher than our expenditure at the moment, so that's a good thing. Gonna have a sip of tea while this loads. Um, I don't. How, what do you think the sound levels in my video so far? I'm messing around with them, trying to change, make my microphone louder and the game quieter. Uh, it's probably way off, and the microphone isn't very good. So uh, I know it sounds horrible. So does my voice in real life, so there we go. <laughs> We've got to stress everything. Doctors have warned that our business is a working people too hard, which is leading to dangerous high levels of stress. People, are, I've just legalized all drugs, how can there be a stress everything I make? This is ridiculous. The party party is not doing its job if there's a stress epidemic. Maybe I shouldn't have taxed the drugs so highly. Mm. Should we? Mm. No, cancel. No, 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 no. I don't want to mess around. I don't want to change that. Let's see what else we can do to get people happy. Uh, are there any new policies? Uh, food stamps, economy, consumer rights, space program. We could send people to space, that would make them happy. Uh, I really want to int introduce a mansion tax. Free meals, public libraries, art subsidies. That sounds good. I like art. We could introduce gambling. And legalize. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll legalize prostitution. That'll s stop people being stressed out. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know what this slider means. How how much do I want to legalize prostitution? Uh, maximumly. I don't know. I don't understand what this slider means. I'm going to do the one that pisses off the con the conservatives the most, which is maximum. So uh, yeah, go ahead, have some hookers. Wonder if I can now tax the hookers. There should be a hooker tax in here somewhere. That would be good. So let's go. Next palace. Next quarter. How do you think it's going so far? Um, economy is doing okay. We've only got 61% of the polls. Uh, campaign for a tightening for animal welfare, welfare, welfare standards on farms is gaining momentum. Yes, there should be a higher maximum standard for space, food and access to outdoors. I am going to set tougher standards on them because I hate battery farms and stuff. Um, yeah, I hate all of that. I hate the way you say you go into a supermarket and you buy a cake and the eggs in it could have come from, you know, the eggs used to make that cake could have come from a battery farm and there's like not really that much way to tell what condition animals have been treated in, you know, unless you're actually just buying an egg. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to see it. It's tough regulations on that kind of thing. Um, what else? Community policing. R working with the community rather than attempting to control it. See, I like this. Community policing encourages the police to better understand the needs of the local community. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, The more we do it, the higher alcohol abuse goes, but I'm quite happy for people to uh, Liberalism goes up. Uh, yeah, I don't... Mm. We'll put up community policing and we'll reduce funding on actual policing. See how that works out. Is this police? Police force. Yep. Sorry guys, we just put a 10 million budget. This is pretty much what the government's just done, isn't it? Having all those community support officers who do nothing and then cutting the police force. And I thought it was a terrible idea, but now I'm doing it for my government now. Sod it. Yep, yep. Crime's gonna go through the roof. And so is alcohol consumption, but that's kind of what we want. Um, let's try and find something we actually want to reduce. This technology key, ten, ten, yes, science funding. This is what I want to increase. Okay, we're gonna give them electron microscopes for now, and if we get more money, we're gonna go for the particle accelerators. Yes, we're gonna become the technological forefront of the world. Uh, okay, next. Another sip of tea. Click, 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 sorry. I was looking away from the screen. <laughs> Here we go. A new situation. Uh, oh, wait. The organized crime situation has ended. We have eradicated organized crime by legalizing drugs. But we've also got a new drug addiction situation. So, uh, 
Hard drugs are being traded freely on the streets. Our young citizens especially are becoming addicted to dangerous drugs. Uh, wait. I don't know. Is this a bad thing? We had a we had a stress epidemic. I think stress is the worst than uh, drug addiction. Not really, of course. I think drug addiction is a terrible thing. I'm only joking, but the party party thinks that drug addiction is completely fine. All right. There have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. Uh, no. Nobody likes the idea of the government holding information about them. Wait, 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 what's going on? So, propose the Freedom Act. The average lower bend citizen should not be spied on or monitored by a multina multinational corporation with computer databases. Yes. Freedom. Good. So uh, we've got a drug addiction epidemic. And what's this? An asthma epidemic. So, uh, mm. I wonder what we can do to fix this petrol tax. We can't raise that. And what I'm going to introduce. Oh, 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 oh no. Yeah, our expenditure is still lower than our income, that's alright. Um, a new policy of some sort. So let's have a look. Public services. So we can in introduce internet censorship, wiretapping. Oh yeah, gambling, that was something I was gonna do. No stakes limit, what does this mean? Limited stakes and age limit. No restrictions whatsoever. Anybody can gamble anytime, any amount. Yep. Uh, and that's it. So uh, prostitution's legalized, gambling is legalized, drugs are legalized. Uh, there's no restrictions on alcohol consumption. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Hmm. Does the media backlash? One of our country's most popular newspapers has launched a media campaign criticizing your policies. Uh, they think it's angry capitalists. Alright, fine, capitalists. You want it that way. Unemployment's rising. Crime's rising. Fun is rising. Um, see, I'm trying to in I'm trying to get us technologically advanced. I think science funding. That's what we need to increase, isn't it? said that we'd get particle accelerators so let's do it let's oh shit no we're spending too much okay uh, I think it's time to introduce the mansion tax implement Yep, maximum. If you're rich, you're gonna get charged for it. How dare you live in such a big house? It's kind of against the party party, party isn't it? Because you know, no, it's not. Sod it. The retired are gonna be unhappy. Equality is gonna go up though. Yeah, maximum mansion tax. If you can afford to live in a big house, then you can afford to pay for everyone else. Alright, we'll go next and then 
We'll see if we can make the deficit smaller on the next round. Oh shit. <laughs> Our citizens have lost faith in the ability of the police to beat crime. They have started to take matters into their own hands, resulting in violent mobs handing out street justice on the spot. Okay, whatever, they can do, do that if they want to. Fine, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine by me. Oh, our credit rating's been downgraded. Obviously they don't know how much fun we're having over here. Okay, so... We've got... We're spending more than we're getting in. But only a little bit, so... I was going to increase the corporation tax, which is this. Twenty-five percent. That'll annoy them, won't it? Yep. Apply. And uh, what else can we do? Anything? What's going on now? Our vigilante mobs. What are they being affected by? I thought this hover over thing would was supposed to. Why can't I hover over anymore? Let's see. See that works. Ah, there we go. Racial tension. There shouldn't be any racial tension in the party party. Let's see what's going on. The Race Discrimination Act. That's what we need to change. Oh no, that's maximum. I'd have changed that. Okay, what else? Education. We need to increase education, so let's get some modern textbooks. Oh god, no. Alright, fine. Next. Oh, we've got organized crime back. Since the uh, vigilante mobs have come back, the organized crime has also resurfaced and it's now stronger than ever. Oh well. There's a proposal for a law to outlaw advertising of alcohol on television. No. If, if anything, we want more al ad alcohol advertising. What's this? Legalized prostitution, yes. Yes, that's always... Uh, what else? Hmm... Yeah, I wanted to increase... What was it? Education? See, our income's now higher than our expenditure, so we can... Increase education in state schools. God, not that high. We'll give them modern textbooks. And what else can we do? Oh, border controls. How much political I can't pull cloud buffer? Random pa I don't even care. I want to completely turn off all border controls and just let anybody in. So, uh, I'll just cancel this policy completely. Alright, we just have the lowest, which is random passport checks. Okay, good. And, uh, yeah, next. Let's see how it's going. <laughs> Seems like it's going well so far. There's uh, vigilante mobs and organized crime ruling the streets. Everybody's high on drugs. Drunk. Oh, wait, what's this? 
superhero. News stations are buzzing reports about a caped man who's been seen fighting crimes, crimes in the cities. Say this is the kind of thing we need. <laughs> Already a number of high profile arrests have been officially attributed to the Max Stranger. Amazing. See this is the kind of thing we wanted. And uh, of course it's a good thing. It's still 59% of the votes, so... Uh, any new policies we can implement? Hmm, let's see... Free bus passes. Consumer rights, I like this. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Excuse that noise if you could hear it. So, gonna implement consumer rights. So, uh, yeah, consumers don't get ripped off. If you buy something and you want to take it back, that's fine. Okay. I haven't done much that round, did I? I just <laughs> give consumers rights. I don't know what that will have done. Uh, curbing bank bon bonuses. Should we stop bankers getting bonuses? No. They should be able to do what they want, like everyone else. This is the party party. Do nothing. Okay, well... I think I'm gonna end it here. This video's gone on long enough. Uh, this is part one. I'll probably continue with this until everything goes wrong and... the country rises up and... throws me out. But I think they were all having fun, to be honest. We've got a masked superhero running around the streets. Um, everyone's drunk out of their heads and on drugs. Everyone's addicted to drugs. Uh, the, I don't know. I think as long as we can get more technology advanced, we'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, that's his business. I'm going to save it here and play again later. Thanks for watching, everybody, and goodbye.